video five of the HTML lesson videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your web page. So I'm going to start in the PowerPoint again. I'm on slide 51 and it summarizes a little bit about the image tag. So adding an image is adding a photograph or a drawing or a GIF file, an animated GIF. You can do that in HTML. The tag itself is IMG. And the important thing to note about the IMG tag is it does not have a closing tag. And let me show you what I mean. Um, if you go back up one page, the P tag that we've used in the past has an open and close. That's because in between those two tags is the content we want to display. An image tag does not work that way. We don't have content we want to display. We have a file that we want to include. That file is an image and it's going to be included in your HTML page. So you do not have a closing tag because there's no content to display. So instead you need to specify the file name. Where is the HTML file going to find the image file? So the attribute, there's an attribute you would use, it's SRC for source, and it's used to identify the file name. You can also identify a path. So if the file is not in the same folder, is not stored in the same folder as your HTML file, you should specify where it can be found. And the biggest problem we run into oftentimes is that the, the file can't be found. So I'll show you um, how to avoid that little pitfall. Another attribute that works along with the image tag is the alt, um, t the alt attribute, and that's for alternate text. That is, if the file can't be found, this text would then be displayed instead. So there is some sizing that you can do uh, within the tag, but this goes with the styling. So I'll show you that last. Um, let me walk you through the file I've created. So I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have my HTML and open it in Notepad. And I added a comment at the top. Remember our comment tag here open and close for the comments. And I just explained that this program demonstrates the use of the image tag. So I have my doc type HTML first, then my HTML tag open and close, my title open and close, my body open and close. I have an H1 tag, are you ready for football season? So that's what I'm going to make the, the title of this page. Then I have a paragraph that just, you know, just a statement, the bills are kicking off the 2020 season, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then I want to add an image. Now, there are several copyright laws. We have to be very careful about the images you use. You can't just use any images off the internet you want. You need permission to do so. But for purposes of showing you how to add an image, I'm just going to go out to Google and grab uh, Bill's logo, which of course would be a big no-no if we were actually creating um, a page that we're going to publish. Uh, but again, for educational purposes, just to show you how to add an image. I'm going to go out and grab one. So go to your browser and open up a Google page. I have actually already done this. So I have some, let me, let me take you back to the beginning. So I just Googled Buffalo Bills images. And if you scroll down, find an image you like. This one seems fine, right? Click on that. And it opens up this window here and it tells you what the pixel size is. So you can see that it's a perfect square with a white background. So you have to take all of that in consideration with how the look of your web page is going to be. But again, for the purposes of this example, this will work just fine. I'm going to right click on this and then say save image as. So choose save image as and navigate to where you stored your HTML file. So I'm in my NCCC folder, CIS119, and I have the sample image folder. Notice what it does for you here. It's going to store it as a JPEG file. So it has a .jpg extension by default, and you're going to give it a different file name. I'm going to call mine Bills. Okay. So now, minimize this and come back into your HTML. So now that you have a file, an image that you downloaded, you can then specify everything that goes inside the image tag. The first thing you need is IMG for image. 
space src. And again, src specifies the source file. So it's going to uh, need an equal sign and then quotation marks around the file name. If you make a mistake, and you forget to close out your quotation marks. Notice what it does, all right? It, it turns everything purple. Uh, it's not gonna find your file if you don't do that. So remember that the file name is just a string of characters all mushed together, and it's gonna look for an exact match. So I named mine bills.jpg, and so I have to put that exactly here. If I had a capital B, I must put a capital B here. It has to be exactly the same as what you have in your file explorer. And then for alternate text, I'm just going to put Bill's logo. And again, that goes in, in between quotation marks. This is optional. Uh, again, this is only going to appear if this can't be found. All right, once you have the image tag in place, just make sure all of the rest are closed out properly. Save your file and then launch it. So view current file in Chrome. All right, so here's my H1. Here's my paragraph right here. And then this is my image. So in the next video, I'll show you how to resize your image uh, and add some very basic styling.